Whoa. Okay, so even whoa. Oh, there yet, Mr. Ratburn. It's not far now. If you suffer from epilepsy, maybe don't watch this video. Oh. Are we there yet? It's not far now. Her Okay, Protobund. Come in San Diego Math Detective, that, that's where I can find. Agent 9, Chase Devineau here. <sighs> the satellites are still trying to lock onto your signal. You must be getting in deep, the reception is lousy. Now you're clear. What the? Okay, we better get going. We need to know what Carmen's up to. Math? Access granted. Welcome to Vile Central. Hmm. Some new headquarters. Carmen's really outdone herself. Yeah, it looks sexy. Uh, Carmen's top communication specialist. You're cleared for level 49. Ooh. <gasps> Going all the way up. Cover work. Acme could use more double agents like you. <gasps> double agent. They used to say the Roman Colosseum could seat 50,000. They won't be saying that anymore. Ooh. Colleagues in crime, meet the Quantum Crystallizer. Oh. This powerful piece of engineering will reduce anything, even the most enormous of objects, into tiny gems. I've tested it on 12 of the world's wonders already, and the Ooh. results have been brilliant. I'm happy to report that soon all of the world's treasures will be safely tucked away and protected with secret passwords known only to me. Oh. I'm sending them to secure vile hideouts all around the globe for safekeeping mm. until construction of my new headquarters is complete. Soon, this magnificent structure will be finished and Vile Central will be invincible. Ha ha ha! Well, well, well. It seems we've got an unexpected guest. Or should I say, an uninvited pest. Oh. Get the Acme Infiltrator. It's not me! Time to make our exit. Better head for the power plex. Now. Whoop. Whoa. Okay, well that was definitely action-packed. Um, so obviously I've been having some issues today with uh, different uh, games not working. So we are now playing Carmen Sandiego's uh, Math Adventure. And as we saw <laughs> right at the beginning, the intro did not look like it was going to work. But it, it, it fixed itself, so that's that's fine. Oh, God. Just, uh, here we go. Agent 9 is Rosalka. Or cookies. Let's just go rookie because, I mean, it's math. I'm going to be fine with it, but still... Just let's get through it. So, it's Agent Nine, is it? Mm -hmm. Rest assured, Nine, you don't know all of my secrets. I'll always be one step ahead of Acme. Oh. Looks to me like she's already one step behind. We'd better get to work. See if you can find these crystal capsules. Maybe clues to Carmen's passwords will be nearby. Bring those capsules back to the Powerplex. I'll work out how to get this quantum crystallizer running in reverse. Phoenix here scoped out some henchman hideouts to investigate. Oh. Stats are downloading now. But aren't we stuck inside this this chamber? Uh, okay, let's let's not question it. Let's just Ooh, Chase Devereaux. Power source. Ah. Do I put these in places? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Rules. The goal of the power grid is to find the correct pattern and shapes and colors of both horizontally left and right and vertically up and down. Power grid begins with two crystals in the grid. Click on a crystal, drag it to a tray, drop it. If you drop a crystal on the square already holding another piece, the two pieces will swap places. Okay, cool. Look for lights and cells and rows to give you clues about whether or not the uh, crystal is in the right place. Yellow lights indicate... Yellow lights in show correct places, correctly placed, and blah blah. From black to blue to indicate. Wait, wait, wait. Yellow lights 
blink to show a correct piece is placed in relation to the pieces around it. The color of the cell will change from black to blue to indicate a correct piece. The yellow lights will show if a piece is in the correct column up and down, as well as the correct road side to side. It's possible to have a piece that is correct in only one direction. Red lights will come on if you have a row. Okay, so we want red. That is really confusing. Uh, you can always move pieces back to the tray. You can hit the reset button to start all over again. Note, the pattern and shapes of different between all different levels. Remember the patterns have nothing to do, um, have to do with shape and color of the crystals going up and what the Okay, how do I put this down? Oh, up there. So that is confusing. Alright, so let's try Oh I don't get it. The wonk? So we want red lights. Uh, are those red lights? Someone explain this to me. What again? What? Yeah, the lights will blink to show a correct piece is placed in relation to the pieces around it. Uh, the color is will from black to blue to indicate a correct piece. The yellow lights will show if they're going up and down as well as side to side. It's possible to have a piece that is... Red lights will come on if you have the row or column all correctly placed. Okay, so... But is that flash there, is that saying it's red or is that saying it's black? Okay, so let's try... Um... Okay, green up top, purple here, the bar. Okay, um, okay, process of elimination. We could be here all night. Let's uh, let's have a look around. Cause that was just confusing. All right. Ooh, there we go. Secure. Oh, hello. No. Transport. So we're currently in space, I think. Oh no, I think we're at Viola headquarters. So let's go to let's go to space. Alien being space. Wait, where are we? We are in. Oh, it's not going to tell us. Oh, something like alien beings. I thought this was supposed to be about math. Okay, quickly answer the problem. Oh, three plus pl three is six. Where do I put the six in? Oh, I'll grab that. That is... T and then, of course, three. How many am I supposed to do? Or am I supposed to do it as it crosses over the, the, the hole? Oh, no, no, sorry. 14, it was 14. There's 16, that's 18, so this is 16. Oh, I see that Adam's charging up. 14. It's enough now? Nope, okay, 14 again. Thirteen. Hooray! It looks like a fork. Oh, six lanes. I guess we got a password. Oh, we have a password now. Okay, let's see. 
Light spectrometer. Focus the light beam, stack the lenses in order in order from the lowest value on top and the highest value on the bottom. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Smaller number can never be placed at yeah, okay. You can only take the lenses from the bottom of the stack, never the middle, that's fine. Okay, cool. We can do this. It's basically Towers of Hanoi, but uh but how do I know what what that's doing though? You know what I'm saying? Am I supposed to put these all on one thing? Yeah, Gabriel, tell me what needs to happen. What? Oh. Right. Okay. Or am I supposed to put these on here? You know what I'm saying? It's just... Oh. Got those slightly in the wrong order. Well, is that doing it? Or am I supposed to... Am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to put it on there. Hang on. I get it now. I get it now. So yes, it's, it's a very easy solution, it's just the way it presented itself. I'm like, well, where am I supposed to be putting these? In the light beam, of course. Hooray! Windy! Brilliance. Okay, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. Apparently these aren't things either. Is this a thing? You did it. Oh, that's a thing. Oh. Additional passwords needed. Crime wave sensor. Okay. Using estimation, select a number from the grid and match the outcome in the goal area. Ah, oh, so it's just one minus the other. So that'd be 43. Uh. See, we can do math. We have to do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more times. Oops, someone's here. One moment, please. All right, there we go. Sorry, someone's at the door. Uh, so this is, uh, that's going to be 74. Huzzah! What now? Three. It's going to be 83. 83, 83, 83. Where's the 83? Hooray! Another five to go! We can do math! Okay, that's gonna be 26. Nice and easy. 26, 26. Okay, and... That's gonna be an eight. 48. Or apparently not. Guess too high. Well, it's 7 plus, uh, so it's 3 plus 5. Uh, no, that's going to be an 8. Maybe 38? Oh, yeah, because it's, it's too high. Or it's too low, actually. No, that's too high, so it's high, too high by 10, so it's 38. I got the math wrong, Gabriel. You want to come in here, Gabriel? Come and join us. 
Okay. 96 plus. Okay, so that's going to be another 90. 92. Hooray! Six to nine! Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna end in a one, and it's also gonna have 50. 51. You alright, Gabriel? You look very scared for some reason. I'm, oh. I'm over by 10. 41. Yeah. Alright, Gabriel, can you do this one? 19 plus something equals 70. That's basically uh, 50, because 20, 50, so it's going to be 51. Or it's going to tell me it's too high and it's going to be 41, but you know. Yeah, of course, I'm right. It's just. It's very hard to check. I can do math. I did really well at math. I just haven't, you know, had to do it quickly on the fly lately. Oh! Uh, world's wonders is missing. A tragedy of monolithic proportions have been taken the world by surprise. Surprise, Gabriel! Um, Twelve of the world's wonders have disappeared without a trace. Official sources have linked the experiences to notorious international thief Carmen San Diego and her crime corpse file. We've got more. The missing marvels include both man-made and natural wonders across the world, still at large. Ah, the Great Wall of China, world's longest wall, the Colosseum in Rome, Italy, the world's largest amphitheater, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California, the bridge with the tallest towers, Angel Falls in Venezuela, the world's largest waterfall. Well, that's that's quite a big thing to pull out. Um, you know, though, if you pulled that out, it wouldn't really look like much because... It wouldn't have the water continually supplying it. It would just look like a rock wall. Never mind. Uh, the Grand Canyon, Arizona, the world's largest land gorge. The Nile River, never in Africa. Again, if you take that out, you, you just you're not the water's just gonna fall out. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia, the largest animal-made structure. The Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, world's tallest buildings. I don't know if that still is the case, but uh, for that it was. The Caspian Sea. You took out a sea. You took out a sea! Okay, uh, Mount Everest, ne Nepal, world's highest mountain. Okay, like, again, I get, you know, I'm taking out a mountain's pretty um, significant, but, you know, like, taking out a sea, it would just be like, the water would just fall out. You can't actually pick it up like it's a container. Anyway, the Hubble telescope. You took something out of space! <laughs> Okay, Carmen, you, you've you've reached super genius level Hi, you if you can pick these things up. And here's Rock. Oh, so we could take in two things out of Australia. Like Australia's largest exposed monolith. Each missing monolith is worth its weight in gold. I think, you know, their value cannot be calculated. Yeah, a C. You took out a whole C. Never mind. All right. Thank you. So I've got three passwords now, so let's see if I can open this. What do you mean addition? How many do I need? Where do I get them from? You know what, we'll work that out next time. We'll come back next time with more more of this. More Common San Diego. We'll see you guys then. Bye-de-bye. -bye.